Can you say daddy plays video games? Daddy's playing in the drinks. Hey guys, hope you're having an absolutely wonderful Monday. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about Advanced Warfare. Yes, talking about Advanced Warfare on the channel. It's been, I don't know, two, three months since we've done that, or maybe even more now that I think about it. Anyway, some really cool information came down the pipe about eight hours ago. That's, that's what the Twitter was, about eight hours ago. Uh, the new information regarding 15 additional prestiges. So all that time you spent getting to Grandmaster or to Master Prestige, now you can be a Grandmaster Prestige. So your Prestige is going to have little Prestige babies and now you're a Grandpa Master. Now, of course, it goes level 1 to all the way up to level 15. They're golden ranks. They're gorgeous. They look really cool. Uh, I do have the infographic here you know, in the background, and I, and I really like I think they've done a great job with it. Now, uh, of course, you enter the Master Prestige ranking at Prestige level 15, unlock 15 Master Prestige ranks, and work your way towards becoming Grand Master Prestige. And who knows, maybe in eight months you could be a great Grand Master Prestige. I don't know. Now, the cool thing that they're, they're bringing about as well is two... I don't know, two aspects of this. Number one, armor, and then the weapons. So let's first talk about the armor, the Grandmaster Prestige character gear. I'm sure you've seen this in their channels, uh, you know, Prestige's Key, or, uh, you know, other guys that do wonderful stuff about this, but here's my perspective and here's my thoughts. First off, this camo is just adorable. I mean, it's purple and jeweled, and, and who wouldn't want to go to the battlefield wearing all this purple flowery stuff? I mean, come on now. No, honestly, I think the breastplate here looks cool. The, the shoulder pads look neat. Not a big fan of that helmet. I, I understand the royalty, and you're going with, like, royal purple. Maybe, I don't know, I just don't dig it, but it's cool. I like the, like, knight kind of armor. I think that's kind of cool. I remember the, uh, what was it, the paladin armor that you could purchase, or the paladin uh, skin for Black Ops 2. I really like that skin. I never purchased it, but I, I really liked it whenever I picked up a gun that had that on there. Uh, so this is the Grandmaster Prestige character gear. There's the front and back, and you can see he is just adorable, uh, and I'm sure he'll look wonderful there on the battlefield. And then the really great stuff was all the... We, each time you hit a Master Prestige, or I'm sorry, a Grand Master Prestige or a Master Prestige, you you unlock an elite weapon, which is super cool. Now, how exactly that unlocks, whether it just appears in your armory or if that comes in like a supply drop or whatever, I'm sure that, that'll be uh, taken care of and we'll know. So... Some of the great guns that we've all kind of strided, you know, tried to get, you know, the the Bal 27 Obsidian Steel, or you know, the uh, the, the Moors, the Silver Bullet, which is a cool, you know, version of that rifle. The the IMR Thunder Tusk, great looking gun. I think Prestige got Prestige's key when he and I were playing Advanced Warfare the other day. He actually un unboxed that in uh, in PC. is super cool. Uh, the HBRA 3 Bare Fist, which is like one of the most sought after. Uh, guns out there. I know. I just. I really think it's super cool. And then, of course, the speakeasy. I remember when when I first started watching Advanced Warfare stuff, and the, one of the guys in the character loading screen was holding this gun. I was like, I has to have that gun. I still has not have it yet. But maybe if I hit Grandmaster Prestige or Master Prestige twelve in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six years, I could probably. I could probably get that. So this is the information. I thought it was really cool. You know, they're trying to give players you know when, when i saw this the the first thing i thought of was like if you guys have ever played mmos like you know uh, world of warcraft or everquest is what i played everquest 2 or, or you know all those other mmos out there there's just so many of them this feels like the end game it's like they're trying to give call of duty players the end game because of of, of so many power players out there so you have those guys who like within days of release got to mass or got to prestige you know master prestige and so, and they're like, okay, well, now I guess I'll just grind the hell out of the game to try to get supply drops. Well, this kind of gives them more to shoot for. I don't know how the experience will be, you know, weighted or anything like that. I'm sure more information is coming down the line. But what I like about this is it does give people, like, something to play for. Not just, I've hit it, I've unlocked, I got my camos. After three months of the game, and now I can't play it. You know, there's no point. But now it's actually giving them something, so they're focusing on those those kind of top end power players and giving them something to shoot for, as well as like maybe filthy casuals like myself that hop in and play. If I ever do hit this level, here's how I can. If I, so if I never saw a, an elite Moors, I know that in just a few master procedures, I could get one. So I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, what do you guys think about this? I know it's it's kind of a grind when you think about. 
30 prestige levels. It kind of blows my mind. I probably could do it in Black Ops 2. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it in Advanced Warfare just because I can really ever get the game. But... I thought it was really cool. I, I think it's neat. The royalty ammo or camo is adorable, uh, and I think that it, unlocking these elite weapons is super cool. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an absolutely wonderful day.